Hey guys, welcome back to the last episode of the season, and we're here in Valencia, one of my favourite tracks, one that in qualifying one at least went really well. I was, I think, eight tenths of a second ahead of second place in qualifying one. Obviously, I don't do practice, so I have to do qualifying one for every single race weekend. But it doesn't really matter because it means we get, I think, more experience points just doing it this way than you know doing it, you know, doing practice, for example, and then going to go through to qualifying to automatically. But nonetheless, last corner time here, and the run onto what will hopefully be a really good lap time here. So we need to end off the season on a high, in my opinion, because let's be honest, it hasn't been a good year. And why did the AI always come out the pits just in front of me? I swear they do it on purpose. And as they are, I'm going to have to avoid them by going way off the track. It's not what I really want it to do, but a couple of people have already done their lap time, so we'll see where we sort of stack up through the first sector here. No, that wasn't too good. Purple, not, sorry, not purple. Yellow, which means our best time, I think, but not the best time overall. It means we were at 0.2, I think, down. Or 0.02. It's very close, and I think we might have to do a second lap. I want to do a second lap here in qualifying if we don't don't get this one hooked up. Hopping about a little bit. I know we've got Marquez just behind us here. That's why I've got a bit of pressure on me here. Two temps down. I think we could pull it back. The third sector, I think, well, actually might have been our best sector, but the fourth sector wasn't too good. So let's just slide it through here on the brakes. Very, very all over the place, this track. Like... It's very, very tough, to be fair. Right, on the power once again. Hopping about over the place, and it's very close. We might be able to do this, guys. Oh, no, <laughs> we've gone on the gravel. Gone on the gravel, and that's not going to have helped us one, one bit. It lost us quite a bit of time, actually. Right, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. We might... Oh, that's actually pulled down quite well there. And out the corner. Marquez has really closed in on us in this lap, so as we cross the line, it's going to be nowhere near what he's done. Nine temps down, only puts us to seventh. And actually, I'm going to do a second lap here. I'm really determined to try and get pole position here. But we've outbraked ourselves a little bit through turn one as we run a little bit wide as we head down to the second turn on the brakes. Throw it into the corner. It sticks. The, the bike's feeling fresh today. Really good. Marquez just behind us, though. So see, he's putting the pressure on us in qualifying, which is not nice. Actually, I'm going to go back to the pits. And then I'm going to actually go for another lap. Skip on a bit more time. See where we are. So we're about a second down. So for our second lap here, hopefully we won't have any traffic or anyone around us. Because like when there's someone behind you or when you're someone's in front of you, I always find that makes it a bit harder, a bit more pressure on you. But now there's nobody around us. I'm hoping that this would be a good lap right on the brakes into the last corner. You take a good clean run out of here, and it's it's not it's not it wasn't perfect actually. It was all right. Anyway, sprinting across the line here. Can we beat the 129 flat that Marquez set to put it on pole position or current pole position here through turn one? Once again, even though we follow the racing line exactly, we run wide. Like I don't really understand that. On the brakes to turn two, that's gone really wide. We might be able to get a nicer run out of the corner because of it. Or it's all over the place through here. That wasn't good. That's lost us three tenths of a second. We're struggling on this lap here, but hopefully we can still make up a bit. Marquez is going to set another fastest lap. He's going another tenth faster, Marquez. He's on a rampage here in the last race of the season. On the brakes. Turning it in. Across the curbs. Bike sliding about a bit as I put the power in a bit too early. How are we going to look through the second sector here? It's like we're trying a bit too hard in this lap here. But it was actually in the third sector, wasn't it, that we made a mistake, I think. That cost us maybe a bit of a better lap time. So through here, into the right hander once again. Hopping over the curb. That's not what we want. There we go. Really good stuff. But that's five tenths down. Maybe it was the last sector. I can't really remember what we did. Oh, it was over there. We went over the gravel there, didn't we? That's what happened. So it was just into the last sector. So even though we haven't set any personal best so far, we still might might be able to and we've pulled it down quite perfectly that was the perfect breaking into the last corner oh shame about the slight hopping up as we go to the start finish line here what's the time going to be it's a 129 uh, it's, it's pa it's pa okay it's better and that's where we're going to end up the session so not exactly great but 
Oh, we just dropped the P9 right at the end as well. How crutch should I put that bell out? Was that thing? Right then, time for the last race of the season. Looking forward to just getting the season over with, obviously, after what has been a pretty rubbishy year. And, well, what can we do? Let's try and end the season on a high because I don't know how many race victories we've had. I remember we had a couple somewhere in the middle of the season, but we didn't have loads of consistent podiums. In terms of points as well, it was a bit all over the place. Sometimes we were in there, sometimes we weren't. It wasn't exactly a thrill of a season, but yeah. Into the next second turn. Oh, we've well, we've caused a bit of drama in there. Loads of people all over the place. We're squeezing through the gaps. Where's Rossi? Rossi's fallen down the order a bit. Vinales is in second place. This is an incredible first lap here. Everyone's all over the place here. We're down to eighth place again. Where's Rossi? Rossi's he's in tenth place. This first lap's been filled with drama. Marquez is down there as well. It's actually, Lorenzo is the only one in this race that's like the main guy at the front of the field. Apart from that, it's actually sort of, you could say, second tier teams and riders. So Lorenzo's running away with this, but we might be able to still grab a podium here as everyone got involved in some drama in the first couple of corners. Through the right hander here, we need to get a good run out of here. And we know we're fast through this last part of the track, so. Well, maybe not faster than these, I don't know, we'll see. Good run out of there, however. Davizioso and Ianone, obviously. I can't remember which one of them. One of them's ahead of me in the championship by like a couple of points, I think. So, I need to try and get ahead of them and obviously get up the road a bit from them. So, I think it's Ianone for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe it's Dobby. Look at this. If we look behind us, we can only see a little bit further back where Rossi and Marquez are. Oh, turn one, that was completely missing the braking point, but we're not going to gain anything out of it because we're just so far off the track on the brakes into the left-hander. Oh, Pedroza, stop it. Stop it. Oh, we're now off the bike. Please don't get involved in a crash. I'm just literally going to straight line the grass and we come out in fifth place, which was where we were. We might actually end up losing a... Yeah, we've lost up. Okay. This last race, of course, it's just going to follow the course of the rest of the season where it's just all over the place <laughs> it's kind of entertaining though seeing like a whole different bunch of people at the front of the field but I don't think it means I think it means we're going to finish outside the top five in the championship oh that's not what we wanted to do not what we wanted to do whatsoever and now we're down to 13 this race has been all over the place I think I might be trying too hard Try too hard to get a big result in the last race of the season. Obviously, it's important for me to try and prove that I was worthy of a top tier team. But what is this? That was just weird. I was like on the on the curb and I just couldn't get any th acceleration down. I suppose it makes sense, but it's just kind of weird seeing it there. Last corner. Can't quite get past Bautista, can we? Sorry, Barbara, not Bautista. All right, down the main straight. I'm just ready to get the season over and done with, to be fair, guys. And I haven't particularly enjoyed it, especially the second half of the year. I know, obviously, I've got to try and enjoy making videos, but what is wrong with... And I braked way too late for that one, but there's something wrong with the braking zone into Turn 1. Oh, yeah, just get this season over and done with, guys. I don't know, just not really enjoying it enough here at the moment, which is it's sad because it, was, it started off being a really good game. But it's just so repetitive, and that's hard to really keep up put, like putting out entertaining content when the game is just so similar each and every year. It's like it's not even about getting like not that good results. It's, it's about making exciting content, which is very hard when the game is pretty stale. It's sort of that part we remember back to like F1 games every single year. They get a bit stale where everyone's like, we've done all of it now. What do we do? And I think Milestone definitely to think about that, like. How can we actually make this game one that people want to buy every year? Not just a money-making exercise. Obviously, putting Rossi's name in the title makes people buy it, even though it's exactly the same game as last year. But I don't know. It's it's not. It definitely makes you think twice when I when I look back at the start of the game, how excited I was for it, and now I look back at it now, the racing isn't that exciting. Overall, it doesn't feel that different to the last game. So, you make up your own minds, but I think maybe part of the reason I'm not very happy 
over this whole season really has been the lack of pace and I'm just glad it's over and done with now because that it's not been a fun season whatsoever. We finished off seventh place. Vinales was the person I was talking about, but he finished way ahead of us. So we finished seventh in the standings there. Not good whatsoever. Pretty happy to just get over and done with, to be fair. And I'm looking forward to a whole new season and hopefully just starting again, basically. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. Once again, I'll see you in a couple of days' time for more Valentino Rossi career mode. It's been Axe Maddy. Goodbye. Thanks again for watching this video guys, I really do appreciate it. As always, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, it helps me out massively. You don't understand how much it really does help me out here on YouTube. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribing it really will help me out grow the channel, which obviously really, really is appreciated. And now I've got that out of the way, if you want to watch another video as well, there's one linked on the screen right now. It'll be a different annotation link every day, so maybe it will be different ones you saw yesterday. So always give it a quick check if you haven't seen it. That'd be really, really cool if you could check it out. It might be an old video, it might be a newer one. Very cool to just see maybe some old content out there as well, whether you liked it or not. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. It's been Axe Goodbye.